Hi, everybody, and welcome back to American Viscountess channel and... Mapperton Live. Be together at last. Together at last. Um, we are uh, obviously premiering this video on both of our YouTube channels at the same time. We know there's a lot of um, crossover between the two channels, but we would only really do this very occasionally, and we are doing it today because of uh, a charity that is close to our hearts and something that we support. So we thought we would put it across both channels at the same time so that it wouldn't be missed. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> That's absolutely true. I think we are so lucky to have these platforms and to have so many people watching these channels. And of course, these channels are related, aren't they? They are yeah, related. They They're are related. sister channels. They're sister so, channels. So I think on occasion we can we can put the same thing on there, but only when it's for a good cause. And this is for a really exceptional cause. But we have to declare that it is something that I am deeply involved in. Yes. And I'm really pleased to have been involved in. So I chair the trustees, the board of trustees for a charity. It's called the Dalai Lama Center for Compassion. And the main activity of that charity is a project called Compassion Matters. And compassion does matter, matter. doesn't it? Yes. I mean, it's compassion is very much linked to kindness and it's a value that is so important in this world and sometimes missing. Yes. Sometimes something that people don't value enough. We've been incredibly lucky to have the Dalai Lama as our patron. So he has supported and helped to found this charity. That's why it's called the Dalai Lama Center for Compassion. The Dalai Lama, of course, is an absolute um, exemplar of compassion himself. And he has asked us to deliver a project that promotes compassion and kindness and related values in schools mm -hmm. to children. What could be more important than than exactly. exposing our children to these ideas, to the importance uh, of compassion and kindness towards others. And so what we do is we develop courses and a program of materials that schools use to provide examples of compassion and related values to children. And we do this using films. Mm -hmm. um, and we are so pleased that today we have a premiere of yes. a film that I think people watching are going to be very moved by. The course is being taken by thousands of children in hundreds of schools all across the world. So it's incredible. Not, it's not just, just the UK. Yeah, all across um, the world. And, and it's going incredibly well. It's growing really, really quickly. But the, the course starts with a film. And I'm really, it's, it's one of the things that I'm proudest of being involved in that film. Um, and so far we've made about four of these films and we've got more that we want to make. But the very first one is called Another Way. And that's the one that we're going to play to you today. It's only about six minutes long. Yep, it does and star. Uh, we do. I mean, one of our children has a is, is in that. That's true. <laughs> You're quite right. See if you can spot but... a blonde haired boy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but but it's a lovely, lovely film. It tells the story of a lovely, lovely person called Richard Moore. But I think we may not say anything more about it. No, I mean, film, I, I do want to rather... add it. It's so, you know, when I first saw this film a couple of years ago or a few years ago when you showed it to me, um, you know, it really tugged at my heart. And every time I watch it, I do well up. And I've been able, you've um, uh, kindly allowed me to, um, because it's, we're premiering it today. But those of you who have been on my uh, yoga, whole self yoga teacher training course, have been able has have seen this film as well because of course yoga you, you include it in in your in my in curriculum your, in your curriculum don't mm -hmm. you yeah. so after this film we are really hoping that some of you will feel able to support the charity it really needs as much support as it can get every um, piece of income that we get goes directly towards our ability to provide this program promoting compassion to children in schools um, it all goes directly into that and, um, uh, and we'd be incredibly grateful if you felt able to support. I'll give some quick details now. Um, so the website you can go to is uh, compassion-matters.org. And if you go onto that page, there's a donate button. 
Uh, again, we'd be very, very grateful if any of you are able to, to support that. There's also a QR code appearing on the screen now, which means you can take your phone out and I know. that takes you straight to the site as well, which is really clever, isn't it? Very isn't clever. clever? It's very um, clever. And anyway, th we'll let the film run now and we will see you once it's finished. If someone hurts you, do you get angry? Do you run and hide? Or is there another way? Compassion for me is a concern for others, to understand others, and a feeling for others, and then doing something about it. That's what compassion is for me. I grew up in a place in Northern Ireland called Derry. And during the 1970s, a long, long time ago now, Derry was a very violent place. There were shootings, bombings, riots on a daily basis. My school was in the middle of that. And on the 4th of May, 1972, I went to school as normal. And when I got out of school in the afternoon, uh, me and my friends went racing along the bottom of the school football pitch. And there was a soldier lookout post. It's like a, a, a military hut where soldiers were inside this hut. And from there, a British soldier fired a rubber bullet at me. I have the rubber bullet here that, that hit me. That's the actual rubber bullet there that hit me. It's fairly solid. It travels at 100 mile an hour. And what happened was my music teacher, Mr. Giles Doherty, he heard the bang. He ran over, he found me lying on the ground. And he lifted me and carried me in and put me on the school table. And I remember him talking to me. And he kept saying, um, you, know, you know, what's your name? And eventually I told him my name was Richard Moore. And he got a shock because, you know, he knew me very well. I was in his music class. But he wasn't able to identify me because of the extent of the injuries. It hit me on the bridge of the nose here. And uh, I lost this eye and was left completely blind in my left eye. So I'm blind now. <laughs> well, hello, Charles. Good Hi. to see you. Eh? Good to see you as well. Yeah. Hi. Charles is the British soldier that shot me. So I didn't know his name until 33 years after I was shot. And then I met Charles for the first time. And to be honest, it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life to sit opposite the man that blinded me for life. And I got to know the person that day. And I liked him. And Charles and me have remained good friends ever since. There's times when I've got up out of bed in the morning and said to God, just give me eyesight back. Just once, just let me see once. Just let me see my children once. But I've never allowed it to consume me. I've never allowed that feeling to take over because I also realise that blindness and seeing isn't the only things in my life. If I had responded negatively to what happened, I had been really bitter and really angry. Well, the impact on me, I think, would have been enormous. I think I wouldn't have found inner peace. I wouldn't have found contentment. And I don't think I would be the person I am today. I started a charity called Children in Crossfire. Children in Crossfire is going 20 years now. And we have provided water, food, medicine, education for millions of children across the world. Why does that exist? Why did I start Children in Crossfire? It's because of the people in my life. I've been on the receiving end of so much kindness, so much compassion, so much caring. When you think about me being in school, 
I'm sitting in a classroom full of sighted students. I'm the only blind person in the school. And you have my friends who are my age and who could very easily just get up and walk out of the classroom and don't want to be landed with me. My friends were the opposite. They come over, stick an elbow out and say, you know, do you want to follow me, Richard? At break time, we would go down onto the, you know, the playground or the football pitch and we'd all hang about. They would come and get me. Now, they had a bit of a laugh doing it as well. You know, it wasn't always, you know, the, the big fun of it. But it was all done in a way that I felt they were being helpful. So you ask me, why am I outward? I'm only giving back some of what I've received. And it's those lessons and the compassion and friendship and love that I've experienced in my life that's made me the person I am. And all I want to do is try and give that back. So if there's millions of children in Africa today alive or have access to education or water or food, it's not because of me. It's not because of children of Crossfire. It's because of those people that played such an important role in my life every day of my life. And if I can do it, you can do it. You know, you don't have to be brilliant to say to your teacher in school, can we do a fundraiser? for the children in Syria or those children in Africa that I saw on television last night. All that you have to be is aware of it and be confident that you in doing that, you're actually maybe not only changing the lives of those children or the next door neighbor, but you're actually changing others as well. And I think that's what real compassion is. When you not only feel it, understand it, but you actually do something about it. How did it make you feel? I have watched this film, I mean, many, many times. And every time I watch this film, like I said, you know, it really uh, tugs at my heart, but in, in a really positive way, uh, because Richard is just you know, the most extraordinary example of someone who has an enormous amount of compassion and how compassion has been just really at the forefront of his entire life. In everything that Richard does, it's all about that well, the, uh, compassion. Well, the, the, the key thing about compassion, which Richard says, is that compassion isn't just feeling something, it's actually doing, doing. something about it. It's got these two parts to it. Exactly. You, you have that moment of, as you say, having your heartstrings tugged or feeling emotionally moved, but then you gotta do something. So we would absolutely love it if you all felt moved by that film, if you were prepared to do something and lend some support to Compassion Matters. Um, the link again on the website, compassion-matters.org, or you can use your smartphone camera just to look at the QR code that is on your screen now. That will take you to the same place. We'd be incredibly grateful for anything um, you're able to give. And I hope that you feel as strongly as we do that this is one of the most important things that we can provide for our kids. We want them to be kind because by being kind to others, what happens? Makes us happy as well. Makes us happy as well.